I need stock. I'm gonna go hit up some charity shops today. I need some stock. Let's see if we can turn a little bit of money into a lot of money. I'll see you when we get there. Hello ladies. Hello. It's only me at the moment. Oh, hello lady. I'm come your lady. Yes you are. <laughs> yes you are. Anything, to... How are you? Yeah, how are you? You So not much footage on that one, but let's go and take a look at what we got anyway. Start off, we have this uh, Knights and Castle set. It's by a Chinese company called Chup Mei. I don't think it's worth mega bucks, but some of the horses alone have sold for 10 pound, but I'm gonna sell it all as one. I paid three pound 50. My money is safe there, but I've got to do some research. Uh, next we have a Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows book. This is a first edition adult version. I pick these up all the time simply because I like to collect them because you never know when you're going to need them. These are all Harry Potter books in here. This will just go in here with the rest until I've got uh, full sets. Next we have this Nintendo 3DS Animal Crossing. Just a game carry case. Cost me £2. don't know what I'm going to get back for it, but it was cheap. It's cheerful. My money's safe. Probably a tenner. Have this Calgary Flames Reebok cap. It's a vintage one. I'm not too sure on the date exactly, but the, the um, design's a bit newer than this. Oh, maybe it's not vintage. 2015. So uh, it's not as old as I thought, but I should be able to get 15 to 18 back on that. I paid £4.50, I think. I paid up for that. £4. Then we have this uh, Emirates Stadium 3D puzzle thing. Picked this up simply because they did well. Uh, it was two pound and it was sealed. So I can hold on to that. I haven't looked into that, but it's gotta be worth 10, 12 quid, if not more. Got this vintage Britney Ferries. It's in French. I believe you assemble it and it makes the ship. Um, it's really, really thin, but for my, for my, um, for my limited French, puzzle on three dimensions. I'm assuming that's puzzle in three dimensions. So I paid. Two pound for that. I picked it up because it was it's different. It's different. So we'll see what we, we'll see what we get for that. It's a mystery one. Picked up this TMNT back to the sewer. Uh, this is three pound twenty five. It is new. It does come with a puzzle poster and a wall poster. Um, three pound twenty five. I should be looking at eighteen to twenty on that. Maybe more around Christmas time. Um, it's like I say, it's sealed. I'll have a good look into that though. I had a quick look while I was in the shop. Picked up these four Jan van Hasteren puzzles uh, in honour and respect of Master of Pieces. If you haven't checked them out yet, go and check them out. Master of Pieces on YouTube. These are 50 pence each. I should come to be get £10 each. Maybe more, depending on what they are. Got to check them all first. So we've got 1,500, 1,000, 1,500 and 1,000. Not going to be a fan of that one, but it's got to be done. Picked up this Robert Sports 984. Uh, this is literally all it is. I haven't tested it yet. If it's working, could be looking up to around £20 for that. We'd have to see what we get on with it. It's missing the clip. It's not... That's it. It cost me 50p. I bought it at the same time with this. This was a pound. I believe it's some sort of projector. I'm not 100% sure, but I got it because it was cheap and it looked quite cool. And if it is a projector, I'm assuming it's a mobile phone projector. It's got AV import just there. Um, but we'll look into that. It's worth a pound. Now, I genuinely didn't know these were worth that much. I know these are full, complete, and boxed, and mine isn't, but nice little turn for my pound. Surely it's got to be worth something. Picked up these Hot Wheels uh, carry case thing. It does have a fold-out track. Just here, you fold it up, and the track comes out. And it's sort of launch pad. And when you lift up this, there is 
it's empty cars, they're all from different ages, it's, it's full of cars in there, that's 5 95 The case alone goes anywhere between 15 to 18 pounds, so fill it with the cars, should be getting 20 back on that. Put this Barber International t-shirt, it was half price today, it was £5 into £2.50. You may have seen on my other videos, I've sold these before. I'll be looking at £12 to £18 on this one, maybe even a bit more, the fact it's an international. Then we have this um, barn, it's 1994, it's by, it's called Big Barn I believe, um, by a company called New Pen, um, New Roy. There's some crazy, crazy things on eBay. I'll put some screenshots up, but somebody's asking for £94. Somebody else has got £50. It's all over the place. I'll put some screenshots up and show you, but I'm going to have fun with this because it is full of the stuff. Not too sure if the, the palm tree's legit. But, um, yeah, we've got some, got some cool bits in here. I'll go through that. That's going to be a nice sale. Picked up this Le Creuset 14 centimeter cast iron pot. This was a mighty measly three pound. I'm gonna get anywhere between 20 plus on that one, not a problem. Paid 10 pounds for this tub of Lego. It is full, no matter what, I am gonna be able to get my money back. I have a checklist of pieces there. I will go through it a little bit. This is a 1990 um, on the bottom of the tub. It's got 1987 somewhere, the light's not picking it up. These are the stickers from off the front of the tub. The tub alone, somebody's got £20 for. There's so much stuff in here. I can weigh it into little bundles. I can go through it, play with it, check it. Um, I'm going to have fun with that one. But £10, my money's very, very safe, just in the tub alone. Now on to my favourite pickup of the day. All right, you're not going to believe this. I mean, it's not mega, mega money. It is good, good ROI. I paid £2 for the set. But... um. It is fun and it is amazing. It's from the year 2000, so it's a good 20 years old now. Uh, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to show you. Are you ready? Boom. Look at that. It is a bed sheet with pillow combo. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It is from the year 2000. It is one of the earliest ones. It's the same on both sides. That is also the same on both sides. It is big. It is beautiful. It's in fantastic condition. Two pounds are paid for that. Um, I'm going to have a proper good look into that and see what it's worth. But the big spell out, the Ash and Pikachu, the two main. Obviously, you've got um, oh, the Squirtle, I think his name is. Um, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Forget the name. Pikachu. It's going to annoy me now. Tik uh, tiki Tokopi. Tokopi, I think. Anyway. Look at it. Just it's a double as well. So you can take it and give, you know, when you, you can buy it and then when your girlfriend's out of the house, quickly switch it over. And there you go. You've got a nice Pokemon bed sheet. Yeah, very, very, very happy with that indeed. And there we have it. Today was a charity shop haul day. I went to about 10 different charity shops in about four different towns, covered around about 40 miles in total. Got some good stuff, some nice pickups. I, didn't, I don't think I spent much at all. I'll have a quick run through. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, 27, 32, 38, 40. About 40 pounds spent. That's nothing. Um, yeah, had a really fun day today. I didn't get much footage because my GoPro decided to be a no pro and it just didn't, didn't want to play ball. But that's the way it is sometimes. So, yeah, we've got some decent pickups. Um, I'm going to run through this now, sort it all out, see what I need to do. I mean, those puzzles are not going to check themselves. So, um, yeah, I, I better get on with it. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks ever so much. And don't forget, if you're new here, especially, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified next time I upload a video. Hit the like button because it really helps push my video forward. And, um, yeah, I'm going to crack on. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.